21 people behind bars and a half a billion dollars involved. It's what the Department of Justice is calling the nation's first large-scale catalytic converter crime ring. California has called a hotbed for converter thefts, and three of the ringleaders operated right here in Sacramento. Fox 40's Mason Morrow is here to share what we're learning about this indictment. Mason. Nikki, as you just said, three people here in Sacramento worked with catalytic converter thieves, and they did it all using an app. The operation netted them $38 million, and now the possibility of decades served in federal prison. What our purpose was to go up the chain and find the people ultimately responsible who are making the most money. U.S. Attorney Philip Talbert worked with California and federal law enforcement to put the clamps on a $585 million catalytic converter crime ring. And we've traced over half a billion dollars in receipts they received from precious metals based on stolen catalytic converters. According to the Department of Justice, Tao Su Veng, Andrew Veng, and Monica Muau recruited converter thieves through an app, enticing them to target vehicles with the highest values. They would put those catalytic converters together into shipments they would send to New Jersey to a company called DG Auto. Talbert says DG Auto repaid the trio $38 million in total for the converters. When you take these catalytic converters and they bust them up and they melt them down, we're talking about a lot of money. Sarah Savio and her mechanics at Sacramento Specialty Automotive drive several vehicles a month into the shop with missing converters. We have had a customer that has actually had five in a row stolen. Since California has strict regulations on fuel emissions, more valuables are at the core of state manufactured converters. And they want the center section, which all the precious metals are in. They would hammer out all of the internals of it and melt it down and get all of the metals that they need out of it. Catalytic converters are not only really valuable, they're also pretty easy to access, which makes them even more desirable to thieves who can cut one out and take one home in just a couple minutes time. We've seen them on ring cameras, jacking up a tire, going underneath, a couple cuts and they're out. Out with hundreds of dollars in a two minute heist, the driver out thousands for a replacement. Savio tells me manufacturers here in California are struggling to keep up with the demand for replaceable converters. She says right now a vehicle owner could go even as much as a couple months without a new one. Talbert says about 1,600 catalytic converters were stolen each month this past year in the state of California.